The beta opens with the entire Golden Gate Bridge demo, dropping players into the middle of the chain of events that led to the 8 day disaster. This is 25 minutes of gameplay and a great introduction to how each hero plays and how combat and traversal work. We built the Golden Gate Bridge sequence to be this roller coaster ride of an experience with huge set pieces, tons of combat and traversal, and a Taskmaster boss battle. It's also a chance to try out many of each of the hero's special combos, heroics, and specific moves. From there, the beta starts to open up just like the full game does, giving you new single-player hero missions and eventually single-player or co-op war zones to discover. As Kamala and Hulk Eel traveled to the dense forests of the American Pacific Northwest on the trail of the Olympia Archive, the last known location of Jarvis. This is another example of a hero mission showcasing Hulk's destructive capabilities. Later, you'll take the Quinjet to a remote war zone in the frozen Russian tundra called Missing Links to uncover shield secrets hidden deep underground. We chose these missions for the beta because they feature a diverse mix of locales, from wide open spaces for you to bound through and explore, to underground aim complexes bristling with high-tech security at some, let's just say, smashable interiors. You can expect heavy resistance whichever beta missions you play, including a showdown with Abomination. What you got there, Cricket? You should test everything that you've learned so far. It was really important for us to create a beta with a variety of experiences that show off the epic scale of the game. So these missions give you a look into the world of our story and our characters, which sees a young Kamala Khan stepping up against AIM to reassemble Earth's mightiest heroes when the world needs them the most. Looking sharp, guys. Combined, the Golden Gate Bridge sequence and these hero story missions make for an already good-sized beta. But because Marvel's Avengers is all about the team, we knew that we needed to give you even more than that. Once you complete the single-player story content, you'll have four different heroes to choose from to play in some great war zones and harm rooms that we've handpicked for the beta. They are Iron Man, Kamala Khan, Black Widow, and Hulk. And that means you don't have to pick just one. You can play them all. As you progress through the beta, you are given access to the Helicarrier, Jarvis, and the War Table, where you can play four-player co-op in three different types of missions. Harm rooms, war zones, and drop zones. Let's start with harm rooms. Our holographic augmented reality machine rooms, or harm rooms for short, are virtual training simulators where heroes can take on waves of increasingly difficult enemies either solo, with a team of companion AI, or with up to four live players. You begin in the harm room training mission, which runs you through the paces of learning to control a hero. From there, you unlock three harm challenge rooms to test your teamwork. Bring your best hero build to see if you have what it takes to complete all three. Harm challenge rooms are a great place to hone your combat skills both individually and as a team. While anyone can play the game, you'll need to focus and work together to make it into the most elite spaces. How many can you and your team complete? You can track your progress, and once you finish, you earn a nameplate that carries over to the full retail version of the game, showing that you not only played in the beta, you excel. Once you reach this point in the beta and have an operational war table, you can also go online and tackle a series of war zone and drop zone missions. We talked a lot about co-op and war zones in the first Marvel's Avengers war table. But to recap, war zones are missions you can play with up to four heroes you've unlocked as companion AI with three other players or a mix of both. There are five beta war zones to play and a wide variety of aim enemies to take down, including a range of human and robotic foes. The first thing you notice is how each hero's traversal is true to the hero. Flyers like Iron Man approach from the air with Hulk picking up momentum as he bounds forward. 
Kamala and Black Widow may be on foot, but they both have unique traversal abilities to grapple and swing, throwing themselves in the air, and even chaining together swings to increase speed and cover greater distances. You'll always have the objective in your upper left heads-up display, but that's just telling you half the information. Trigger tactical awareness to see everything that's available to do in a mission. For instance, that right there is what we call a POI, or point of interest. This POI is a bunker. Bunkers usually have small environmental puzzles that unlock a door once they're solved, and there are usually goodies inside like gear, resources, and also collectible comics. Missions on the war table can take as short as 10 minutes and as long as two hours. Drop zones are among the smaller, more focused versions of war zones, and they almost always have a single objective. The beta drop zones are designed to let you and your team drop in for a single hit and run encounter, and in the full game, they're great for earning gear or leveling heroes. Whether you play with friends or with your companion AI team, you get in, you get out, and you're done. We built the beta to let you sample many of the different types of gameplay and systems that you'll find in a full game. The beta includes missions built for different players and power levels. And as you build your heroes, you will find that you can take on increasingly ambitious missions. Progression is one of the main systems in the full game, and the beta delivers a taste for earning experience and leveling up your Avengers. In the beta, you'll have access to one of three starting skill pages for each hero. The others open up when the game launches. As you earn experience, you level up, and each level grants you a skill point. You spend these to unlock skills and shape what each of your Avengers can do. In our first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we talked about heroics and ultimates, and we teased the Hulkbuster. The Hulkbuster is Iron Man's ultimate, and you can use it in the beta. Right off the bat, you'll see it is a powerhouse of, well, power! Hulkbuster comes equipped with rocket-propelled melee attack combos and overpowering dash attacks that can literally sweep enemies off the battlefield. You can access Hulkbuster's rocket-propelled punches, rocket-propelled gauntlet cannon, including an extra powerful repulsor blast and leap and slam attack, and the ability to sustain tons of damage. There are also some alternate deployment methods, but we'll leave that to you to discover in the beta. Is it over? You will also earn gear as you play, and as you level up, you'll have access to better gear with more powerful perks. And that is just in the beta. In the full game, you have three skill pages and extensive gear to dial in your perfect playstyle and build out your Avengers roster to play your way. Speaking of your roster, during your first Marvel's Avengers War Table, we mentioned that playing with your companion AI was a great alternative if you prefer your superhero game solo. But there is a very good reason why we like them so much. These are your heroes playing alongside you on your team that you've unlocked and you are leveling. So let's say you start the mission as the Hulk. The game then adds your Iron Man, your Black Widow, your Kamala to your party. The heroes in your party are using the skills that you've unlocked and the gear that you've equipped, which you can then mix and match to create a tailor-made party composition that plays the way that you want to play. This is a great way for a solo player to play as a team, in the full game, and in the beta. Team composition matters in Marvel's Avengers. Building out a team with pure or hybrid melee and ranged builds allows you to do a lot more with what you have. This was a quick overview of the beta. It is a big experience with more than 20 combined co-op and single-player missions and four heroes with a small taste of the customizations, outfits, and upgrades, and even some secrets you'll have to discover by yourself.